anthropologist and I study medical practices. And uh, what this means is I'm interested in how medicine is learnt and taught and tinkered with in contemporary societies. So my current research project looks at the role of technologies in how doctors train their diagnostic skills. So for a long time doctors learnt these skills at the bedside, but increasingly what is happening is that students are learning these skills away from the patient. They're learning it from videos, from other digital resources and in places such as this, a skills laboratory, which teaches medical students skills outside of the hospital. The goal of my research and of the whole team's research is to understand this question about the role of technologies through the lens of comparison. And what we do is we study uh, in medical schools in Hungary, in Ghana and in the Netherlands as anthropologists, we each do field work. And there's also a historian on the team that looks at this question across sites. This research helps us to understand and open up this kind of black box process of how we learn things. When I grew up, I was always fascinated by the body and how it worked. I used to have these pop-up books with skeletons and um, different body parts that you could open up. So I went to medical school and I learned that how the body worked was a lot more complex than that. So I loved how anthropologists don't take anything for granted. And they always start from trying to understand what people actually do rather than coming with hypotheses beforehand. I joined the Maastricht Young Academy because I really wanted to be part of what promised to be this group of local researchers who were focusing on the interests and work of young researchers in a local context. So I also am a member of the Global Young Academy and I saw this as a wonderful opportunity to bridge these kind of local and global conversations. What I'd really like to do is work on issues of communicating the scientific work that happens at the university to a broader public. So I feel as someone who has moved across many different countries, from Australia, North America and Europe, and someone who's moved across fields of medicine to anthropology, that I have some kind of skills in this area of what it means to make translations. Music